Spin. Well, we've got a warm front, surface warm front coming through. It's ushering in warmer temperatures, and that's what brought some of the mid-level clouds we had in place today. Now, as that continues to move away, nice brisk southwest flow out of the plains. Tonight through the weekend, we'll start to warm it up in a big way. Now, there is a cold front way up here that will start to slide closer on Sunday. There'll be a little bit of Gulf moisture, so a few showers will develop Sunday. Then the front stalls out over our area, and this storm in Southern California and this one in the Pacific Northwest will roll down the Pacific Coast and then eject into the plains, and it's going to bring rain and storms to our area as we get into next week and then sharply colder weather. But in the meantime, a pretty nice evening, you know, a little chilly, but it's going to feel pretty fall like we're going to fall into the 40s this evening. If we could go to our next graphic here, we're going to fall into the mid 40s as we head towards 7 o'clock and certainly around 10 o'clock. If we could go to 3D really quick, there we go. Evening forecast 46 at 7, 43 at 9 and 40 at 11 here. Winds will be out of the southwest. Overnight, not nearly as cold as it was last night. You know, we were well down into the 20s last night. We'll be only in the mid to upper 30s tonight. And a windy and warmer weekend. It'll be well into the 50s and near 60 tomorrow. And as high as the mid 60s on Sunday with a few showers around, but a lot of wind on Sunday. Winds could gust on Sunday to 40 and then rain and storms and the big cool down next week. There are your mid to upper 30s tonight with the southwest wind 35 to about 40 degrees. 37 Lafayette, 37 Monticello, 36 in Camden and tomorrow mostly sunny skies looks good for the Purdue football game. 59 Monticello, 59 Lafayette, 60 Attica, and 57 Logansport. Now Sunday, it'll be even warmer, 60 to 65 degrees, but it will be uh, certainly cloudier. It'll be a little grayer Sunday with a few showers around. There are the mostly clear skies tomorrow morning, mostly clear through the day tomorrow, windy, warmer, but notice that the clouds start to increase on Sunday morning and it will cloud up through the day Sunday. And as that cold front approaches and a little Gulf moisture starts to feed in, there'll be a little speckling of showers along that front. They'll be pretty light, not widespread, not heavy rain by any means. A lot of wind that front will kind of stall out right over our area on Monday, but gradually it will move north during the afternoon. So the rain may uh, become a little more steady Monday morning and then start to decrease somewhat later in the day as the front lifts northward. And then Tuesday, the main low starts to head our way. So widespread showers and storms, severe threat about Evansville southward, and then it cools off Wednesday 43 in the morning, then falling with a mix of rain, sleet and snow showers. Once again, seven day forecast 59 tomorrow, 61 Sunday, 66 on Monday and Tuesday, then much cooler. We're down in the 40s on next week. So enjoy those 60s while we've got them, but certainly there's a price to be paid, wind and showers <laughs> and storms. 60s will feel nice, it though. Will. Little break. Okay. Yep.